nice firm fit. this Raptor to a Raptor 2.1. We received the BMS, we received the Unities. So we gotta test it out, see how it goes. To a point set our NIF. All right, so now we're gonna take out the old E-Tray and replace it with a new E-Tray for the Raptor 2.1. So this is what the old one looks like, two fog boxes. And uh, this is the new one with the Unity and a custom BMS. So that cleans up things a lot. And the Bluetooth module is also inside there. So we, we've removed that out of the way. We'll make it nice and clean. We just drop it in and plug everything in. We're just doing some initial testing, um, high current testing. Um, first, we'll try 120 amps. Yeah, so I just did the FOC setup. If I do a read, just double checking everything. Corn tack. Okay, motor two, I restart the throttle. Motor one is still going. Motor one, start the throttle also. All right, I'll stop it at two minutes. Calling it, two minutes. Here we go, all right. Now let me get that thermal camera. 50 degrees. Yeah, it's a switch, a momentary motor. switch. It's just a tactile switch. Super low profile. Very clean. Yes, it'll be on the Raptor 2.1s and it's coming with the Unity also if you buy it separately. Okay, third time is a charm. Start. Um, this is a thermal test, uh, 80 amps open loop. So we're just seeing how long the Unity could sustain 80 amps for. Uh, previous it was um, 90 seconds. So we'll we're expecting about the same thing from this unit here. So we're about almost hitting the minute mark and we're still at 80 amps. One minute. So as soon as one starts to throttle, I'll cut it. So yeah, one minute and 20 seconds. Motor one took a little longer. All right, let's cool this down. And I kill it. Feel like going crazy for the 14S battery? May as well. Yeah. Uh, now we're testing a max ERPM test with 14S because um, 12 is not high enough, and we happen to have a 14S battery here. So we're not sure what's gonna, <laughs> what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna write this configuration. Um, also, increase the max input voltage. Yeah, you have a shot with everything there. Yeah. Volts in 57.5. That's scary. Alright, I'm gonna start spinning this thing. Yeah, I'll have my button on the escape just so the kill switch. Forty thousand RPM. Fifty two point five. Sixty four point nine. 
115.6 and that's all she got. <laughs> that was tense. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, and the yeah, the <laughs> temperatures at three didn't even get hot. Whoa, motor's hot as hell though. But not uh, not the Unity. Unity is nice right. nice and cool. Hundred and thirty K Whoa, yeah, I have no idea how scary that is. <laughs> it's not only loud it's pretty scary I'm actually a my hand is literally like six, six inches from this shredder <laughs> yeah nothing blew up I think these motors were able to murder uh, the fog box and other other versions of the VSC well, that was fun So man, welcome back to the shop today at Trita Special. It's the Vegas Hangover return. And what was waiting for me in the mailbox? The Fog Box Unity covers. Yay! So now I just slapped it on and everyone fits very nicely. Alright, so what I wanted to see is the lights. How the lights look. Turn it on. Green. And you see the blue. That's pretty cool. And you see the flashing blue of the Bluetooth which is pretty cool so when it goes solid so this guy here when it goes solid that means you have a connection so that's pretty badass 